Yo, this is Christian and today in this video I want to share with you my strategies for building a kick-ass portfolio that will pretty much guarantee you developer job, alright? So please stay with me until the end because I'm gonna share with you all the value nuggets, all the things that I have discovered by mistake, I guess, uh, for the past two years as I've been helping other people uh, get hired and the things that I've learned uh, while being a developer for five years, okay, until I quit my job in October last year. It's so weird to say last year, which is like last week. Anyway, so the biggest thing ever, okay, the biggest thing ever and, and the simplest thing ever and the hardest thing ever to fix when creating your porf portfolio is the amount of time you are spending on creating your applications, okay? So a portfolio is basically a collection of applications that you have put together and with those applications you are showing uh, potential employers to recruiters that will put you in front of potential employers the fact that you have the skills and then with those skills you are able to to solve someone's problems, okay? So that is a portfolio. A portfolio is not a website necessarily, it can be. And the portfolio can be just your resume, right? My portfolio, if I want to get a job right now, is gonna be a resume, a Google Doc, okay? With places where I've worked at, okay? And that's gonna be your resume as well. A Google Doc where you have a link to your working application, and the description of that application so people can know what to expect from it, okay? Why am I saying that time duration is the most important thing? Well, a lot of people are focusing on building as many applications as they can, okay? They wanna have the calculator, the to-do app, uh, a fake clone of Facebook that has only one page or something like that. I don't know, a weather app, a Pokemon search app. All these things are good to have for your learning experience, okay? Because you are learning the basics of it. But if you look at anyone's profile on GitHub, and I'm gonna do a code review, a portfolio review soon, you'll see that pretty much everyone is working on an application for a week, maybe two weeks. It doesn't matter if they've been in a bootcamp, it doesn't matter if they've been self-taught, that's the only thing they've been doing. They've been working on an application for a week or two and the rest is pretty much like research or procrastination or learning and other stuff. So if I can give you one tip that will absolutely change the game for you is work on an application for two months, for three months. Okay, that's I'm biased towards that because that's what my students are doing. They're working on an application for long term. And the reason why I'm saying you should be working on an application long term is because you will develop experience, okay? When you work on an application for a week, there are not many moving pieces or you cannot create that many moving pieces. If you don't have that many moving pieces, then your, the complexity of your application is very, very low, okay? So that's why people would say to you, hey, we are looking for someone with more experience. Because you haven't experienced dealing with the frustrations of an application that has to scale. You haven't dealt with the frustrations of making your code reusable, okay? Things of that nature. And you will learn those things as you are working on a long-term app. Does that app have to compete with Facebook, with Twitter, with Instagram? No, not at all. But it has to be to, it has to have a decent size where you could start to experience some of those issues that you might have if you would work on a real project, okay, with real people, with real business problems that you have to solve, with real consequences for you if you don't deliver the project, okay? So that's kind of what I'm trying to uh, mimic when I'm teaching someone programming, web development, front-end development in general, okay? So that's the biggest tip for you, okay? Now the second uh, most important thing is if you want to become a front-end developer, your application has to look good. It has to look good, it's very important. Probably you have in your on your website or probably you've seen other aspiring junior developers having on their website something like junior developer with a very good eye for detail and a passion for design or some bullshit like that. But when you look at their website, when you look at their applications, you'll see that they look like they are MySpace. They look like they've been made in 2002. 
And even though we are developers, okay, we are not designers here, and you don't need to be a designer to become a developer, that's another misconception for another video. People and recruiters, which are looking for front-end developers, will judge you based on how your application looks like. Okay, we are judging books by its cover, even though the saying says, don't judge a book by its cover, we do, we are humans. So when we see something that doesn't look good, we automatically assume that the rest of the thing is not good. So make sure that your designs look proper. I've showed you in a previous portfolio review where I was comparing my students' portfolio with someone else's, the design, like it was unbelievable, right? Compared with what a regular self-taught developer or bootcamp grad would do. Another thing that I see most people doing wrong is that they are deploying their websites, their portfolios on Heroku. Heroku is absolutely terrible for that. You know, you can use um, Versal, for example. The reason why Heroku is not good is because it takes 10, 15, 20, 30 seconds, 45 seconds, one minute until your application loads. And you don't have those seconds, okay? Because if a recruiter is clicking on that website, it's gonna be like, okay, waiting, put the loading spinner here, waiting, 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 and they will think that your application doesn't work and they'll piss off. They'll go somewhere else, okay? So, you need a, an outside perspective on this thing to make your portfolio perform properly, all right? The next thing that you need if you want to have a kick-ass portfolio is to understand the difference between principles and tactics, okay? So principles are things like routing. A tactic is React Router. A principle is state management. A tactic is Redux. Uh, we as front-end developers, and when you're a junior or when you try to become a junior developer, you kind of mix these two, okay? So even though a lot of people might say, hey, Redux is not good anymore or blah, 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 you should try React Query, the problem is not really Redux. Learn Redux, understand the concept, understand what the problem that Redux is trying to uh, solve, and then you can learn React Query, you can learn something else. I haven't even touched React Query, but I could learn it in one or two days, okay? It's not a big deal because I understand the principle that these other libraries are trying to help me out with, okay? So you always have to make sure that you understand the concept, the principle, what is the problem that you need to sort out with a technology, because at the end of the day, technology is made to help us solve a problem. And if we don't know, if we cannot describe what the problem is, we will never be able to pick the right technology, okay? And you as a junior, you need to be more focused on understanding the, the problem that you need to solve, okay, rather than technology, because the likelihood of you getting into a different technology than what you are learning right now are very high, okay? So for example, you saw Hector and Tony getting hired with Vue.js, okay? They are working on Vue.js projects, even though I taught them only React. Why did that happen is because that's what the market in their countries was looking for, okay? So if you understand the principles and if you understand the concepts, you'll be able to adapt to the job market, okay? That's what you wanna be good at. You don't wanna be stuck with one thing and one thing only just because that's the only thing you learned and you don't understand the concepts behind it, okay? Uh, because the job markets change and maybe React in five years is not gonna be a thing anymore. What are you gonna do? You're gonna stick with it until you die? No, jQuery is not a thing anymore. Are you gonna stick with jQuery until you die? No, you're gonna move on and you have to understand the principles so you can be flexible and you'll be able to adapt to the changes in the tech world because the tech world moves pretty fast uh, nowadays, okay? I mean, it's always been moving pretty fast, but nowadays it's quite, uh, quite frustrating with how things uh, move. Anyway, these are some of the ideas that I that I consider necessary for a junior developer to understand um, if they want to get hired in 2022, I guess. That's the year we are in right now. Uh, it's going to take me a while till I adjust to this. But if you want to work with me and if you want to learn these principles and much, much more than this, then apply for a free consultation call. So actually I've done... Now I'm super confident in my program, especially for the past two months since I've been removing all the people that are kind of lurking away and they are not really hard working and motivated, right? So if you apply for a free consultation call and you decide to work with me and with my team and you are 100% committed to the process and you are not making marginal results in your, pro in your process, okay? In one month, I'm gonna give you all the money you've paid for the coaching. 
back. You're gonna get that back plus $5,000 on top of what you've paid, okay? And this only applies if you are a hardworking, badass motherfucker, okay? There is no, if you are, if you are lazy, this is not for you, okay? Find someone else. Or if you think, if you think that you're gonna make it anyway because you are good, that's perfect. I want to work with you because I can help you be 10 times better, 10 times faster. Okay, and if I can save you just one more month, that's gonna already pay you back all the money you've invested into the program. I'm so confident in what I have to offer that I would say you are crazy not to take what I have. So to, to, to get that, you have to apply for a free consultation call to make sure that we are the right fit for each other, if, to see if we like each other. And uh, in the meantime, feel free to join the Facebook group. I go live there every week, live classes, live trainings and stuff like that. You can ask me any kind of question you have. And I guess that's it. I hope you'll enjoy the rest of your, of your week. Cheers. Bye.